Welcome to Elias Family Kitchen, everyone. Today I'm going to make one of my son's favorite meals, baked crispy spicy chicken legs. It's delicious, it's crispy, and it is chock full of flavor. Uh, the best part is it is really easy to make. First thing first, we're going to preheat the oven so the oven will be ready by the time we're ready to bake. So preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And start. While the oven is preheating, we want to prepare a baking rack. Uh, what I have here is a baking rack in a sheet pan uh, over aluminum uh, foil, so to make cleanup easier. And I'm going to set this aside while we prepare the chicken. The ingredient list for this dish is super short. Let me show you what we have here. Um, to make this spice rub, you're gonna need a quarter cup of onion powder, quarter cup of chili powder, and then a quarter cup of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of white pepper. And uh, for the chicken, we have about three pounds of chicken here. And then to season the chicken, we're gonna need about three teaspoons of Lori seasonal salt. You can use regular salt if needed, uh, but the Lori seasonal salt obviously will add a little bit more spicy flavor to the chicken. And then uh, we're also gonna need about one tablespoon of olive oil to, um, to you know, massage all over the chicken. This will make the chicken more crispy when it's baking. And let's start with making the spice rub. Super easy, just dump everything in there. and mix it up. Okay, once it's evenly mixed, you can set this aside and we're going to prep the chicken. So um, let me show you what I have here. The chicken legs are butterflied, um, as you can see here, so that it has more surface area. It's going to cook faster and it's going to have more seasoning on the surface of the chicken on the skin of the chicken so it's the, ch the chicken is actually going to be more crispy this is the really nice trick to cook chicken legs and i'll show you how to butterfly the chicken legs it's also super easy so you take a chicken leg and then you slide down you take one slid over the middle of it and then you do another slid on the left side along the bone. Be careful not to cut it through completely because you want you want it to be flat. If you cut too hard and too fast, you will end up cutting a piece of that chicken leg off the chicken. Okay, so, and then you want to make another slip on the right. Again, be careful not to cut it completely through. And that's it. Let me show you again. one slit down the middle. This will open the chicken leg up. Another one on the left. And then another one on the right. And that's all you have. Now we're going to oil and salt the chicken legs. So we're gonna drizzle some olive oil over the chicken, not too much. There's no need for too much of olive oil because we are leaving the skin on. If you want to be healthier, if you want to eat healthier, you can skin the chicken. So like take the, remove the skin from the chicken legs. That's totally up to you. I, I like to eat the skin because it's crispy. After you pour, to pour the olive oil on the chicken, you want to use your hand and massage the oil all over the chicken so that it is um, coating the chicken evenly. And then we're going to add the salt to the chicken legs. Sprinkle it all over. And then turn it to the other side and sprinkle salt over the chicken on the other side as well. Uh, 
Okay, I'm done seasoning the salt, uh, the chicken on both sides. And now we're going to uh, dip the chicken legs in the spice rub. Okay, so the best way to apply the spice rub is basically use a spoon and then spoon it all over the chicken generously. And then place it on the rack with the cut side down. It's the skin side up because I want that skin to crisp up. And probably a little bit more over there. Okay. Okay, this is the last one. I'm going to arrange them, rearrange them on the rack. Make sure that they are laying down as flat as they can. Looks like I'm running out of space here, but it's okay. So let's turn them the other way so that we can make more space. Now that they're all evenly spaced out, let's get them in the oven and get baking. In the middle rack, 375 degrees for 45 minutes. Now the chicken legs uh, here are at room temperature because I took them out of the refrigerator two hours ahead of time so that they can come to room temperature. Um, if your chicken is straight out of the fridge and is still kind of cold and chilled, uh, you, want, you may want to add 10 to 15 minutes of baking time to it to get the same crispiness. The chicken's ready. Let's take it out of the oven. Smells good. Look at that. Chicken's ready. Look at that. You hear that sound? It's crispy. And then let's take the piece off of this. It's very tender. And let's take a bite. So good. The meat is so full of flavor and it's tender, but it's juicy. And yeah, this is good. Oh, you want a piece of this? You gotta make it yourself. Well, happy eating everyone. Well, I'll see you next time.